Hello there to you. My name is Ryan. I'm coming to you from Jacksdale Southland Community Church, which is to be found on Franklin Road in the small village of Jacksdale, in this parish of Southland, to which we serve and love and constantly pray that the Lord would do wonders amongst us. And we thank God for today, a day of real strange things, or a day of confusion, a day of weariness and tiredness, maybe. But today we can rejoice that God is still God. So however this short message finds you, and we have been doing this for some months now, and it has been a great privilege for me to share this with you, and I trust a great blessing and joy to those of you who have received. So wherever you are today, may God bless you, and may you continue in his grace, to walk in his ways, to hate sin, and to love righteousness, and to look for that glorious kingdom to which we belong, and one day will arrive. I'm going to continue in this great book by, the Lord, uh, by Thomas Watson, The Lord's Prayer. And again I start another section. How shall we know this kingdom is prepared for us? And then it goes on to a short section that we're going to look at. And it's, it's got quite a long title. I will shorten it as we go along, but it's this. An earthly heart is no more fit for heaven than a clod of dust is fit to be a star. There is nothing of Christ or grace in such a heart. It were a miracle to find a pearl in a gold mine, and it is as great as a miracle to find Christ, the pearl of price in an earthly heart. Would we go to the kingdom of heaven? And then this, and this is how we will show it. Are we, are you and I, heavenly? Let us begin, number one. Remember the question, are we heavenly? Are we heavenly? And the question is asked again, are we heavenly in our contemplations? Do our thoughts run upon this glorious and awaiting kingdom? Do we get sometimes upon Mount Pisgah and take a prospect of glory? Thoughts are as travellers. Most of David's thought travelled heaven's road. Are our minds heaven heavenized, heavenalized? Walk about Zion, tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Psalm 68, 12 and 13. Do we walk into the heavenly mount and see what a glorious situation it is? Do we tell the towers of that kingdom? While a Christian fixes his thought on God and glory, he does it, as it were, tread upon the borders of the heavenly kingdom and peep within the veil. In the veil. As Moses had a sight of Canaan, though he did not enter into it, so the heavenly-minded Christian has a sight of heaven, though he yet has not entered into it. Though there is some old language there and some big words maybe, the simple question is this, Christian, saint, those of you who have been set apart, those of you who today are a Christian, are your contemplations heavenly? Are you often walking up the mountain to peep into the glory? Are you, is your face set and your heart inclined to that awaiting kingdom? Does the inner part of your man long to be with Christ? Do you look up and think one day, O oh Lord? Do you contemplate glory? Do you contemplate the kingdom to which you belong? That is the question. The answer, of course, to those of you who are Christ. Oh, how often I think of the awaiting kingdom. My contemplations are of heaven, not as they ought to be. There are times when I grow cold. There are times when darkness follows me. But how often do I bow and long to see the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you in your contemplations today. And as we go on through the coming days, we'll ask ourselves further questions. 
are we indeed heavenly. God bless you for now. Take good care.